Hey everybody, so today I'm coming at you with a little mini Goose Creek haul. Um, this was when they had their buy two get two free. Um, there were a few that came back, came back in stock that I wanted to grab before they left. Um, so two of which being um, Candy Cottage and um, Campfire Marshmallow. So, um, and I did want to grab a couple of the new kit cookie collection too. These were the only two that I really wanted. But um, just to preface you, keep in mind these are all new fragrances to me, um, except for Sunday Drive because I have a wax melt. Um, but so, you know, these are just my impressions on cold. So I just wanted to let you guys know that before I head into just giving you um, an idea of what the candle is about in its natural form. So I'm going to start with the three wicks. The first one is Campfire Marshmallow. This has warm vanilla bean, spun sugar, fluffy marshmallows, warm campfire, and toasted vanilla creme. This is very, very similar to Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works. If you've ever smelled that, it's a very like uh, sweet marshmallowy uh, fragrance with a little bit of smokiness in there. So that's what this candle is all about. But this has, um, Campfire Marshmallow has more sweetness and it's quite a bit stronger than Vin Marshmallow si Fireside, sorry. Um, I also pick up on a note of Star Anise in here, um, but it's not listed in the notes. It's just from the, I think it's from the strength of the sweetness um, that I that I get this impression of Star Anise. But um, thank you to, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Can, um, Canetta for telling me to get this fragrance because I love it. So um, I can't wait to get to reviewing it. So thank you so much. Um, the next one up is Candy Cottage. This is sugared gumdrops, sparkling berries, cotton candy, raspberry sorbet, sugar crystals, and sweet vanilla. This is also uh, like just like a Bath & Body Works fragrance, this is like Pink Fairy Gumdrop from Bath & Body Works, but this is stronger and has like double the dosage of those like sugar crystals. And it, it kind of has a double dosage of like what we love about um, Pink Fairy Gumdrop if you've ever smelled it. I really am excited to burn this to see how they compare to one another. Um, same with Campfire Marshmallow in comparison to Marshmallow Fireside. I, I like to see the how they compare um, and yeah, and give you guys my thoughts on that. So I'm excited about this one. I was really looking forward to get getting this in the 16 ounce two wick, but it sold out, but then they repackaged it in the three wick. So I, I had to get it. And the same goes for Cotton Candy Blizzard. This was released in a two wick, uh, 16 ounce jar. However, I was put off a little bit by the fragrance notes. So I'm happy that I have it in a smaller version because um, I didn't want too much of it. You know, like I wanted to see what it was. About. I didn't want to take the risk buying a larger candle, you know, so, um, Cotton Candy Blizzard has fruity cotton candy, winter mint, iced peppermint leaves, spun sugar, whipped vanilla, and crystallized sugar. So they took their, uh, Goose Creek has a cotton candy fragrance. They kind of took that, okay, which if you've smelled Forbidden Elixir, they're Goose Creek's cotton candy and Goose Creek's Forbidden Elixir smell very similar to one another. They have a lot of the same components. So it's like they took those two and then added a bunch of mint to it. And I am hoping that more of the cotton candy comes out in this when burning. Um, it is, uh, it seems like the mint is a bit overpowering, but I can still smell something there underneath. So, you know, it's not like the peppermint mocha milkshake where all I'm getting is mint and I have to really search for that, um, so for some semblance of mocha or vanilla or something like that. But this one has a balance. I'm just hoping that more of that cotton candy comes out when it's burning. So like it's, 
I, I think it's going to be good. I think that that's um, a combination that you wouldn't necess necessarily see together is this fruity, uh, sweet berry with a mint. Um, so I thought it was really kind of odd and I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I still wanted to try it. So then I'm uh, moving on to the two wick 16 ounce jars. Uh, we have gingerbread cookie. This has a uh, gingerbread cookie, vanilla bean, gentle spice, brown sugar, cookie dough, and Christmas spice. On cold, this is not as sweet as I thought it would be. It's, um, it's kind of soft and it smells like a gingerbread as opposed to a gingerbread cookie. Uh, there's the, it's denser and it, at the same time, it isn't as sweet as a cookie would be. So that's why it comes off more like a gingerbread. Um, I do like gingerbread men by Goose Creek better than this one on cold, though I haven't burned either of either one of them yet. Um, but if you're looking for more of like a sweet cookie, gingerbread men might be better and then if you're looking for like an actual gingerbread then go for gingerbread cookie the next one up is marshmallow cookie this has vanilla marshmallow buttery caramel warm vanilla bean vanilla frosting and baked cookie this is so buttery but it's done in like a really good way this smells so good you guys it's like uh, an all butter shortbread cookie, right? With like sweet marshmallow underneath. And it isn't like the marshmallow in um, Campfire Marshmallow, which is more of like a perfumed marshmallow and like you just get real sweetness with that. This is like a vanilla, like a, a marshmallow frosting underneath this beautiful buttery cookie. Um, this one I was looking forward to the most out of the whole bunch, and I like this one the most, so I'm really happy about that. Um, now moving on to the Tuwick jars. These are the 24-ounce jars made with the paraffin wax as opposed to the three wicks and two wicks, which have a soy wax. We have Holiday Embers. This has winter fireplace, cedar, clove buds, cinnamon, leaves, pine, Siberian fir, and crackling embers. Oh my god, this is awesome. There's all the traditional notes in here that smell like the holidays, and then on the very end, there's this soft cedar wood that adds like it's not a burnt cedar wood. It is a fret like a like you're smelling the wood in its original state. You're it's it's Yet the embers are there, but and then and all that pine, but like this cedar wood on the end adds this soft dimension to the other notes. I am so excited about this candle. I did not think I was going to like it this much, but it's amazing. Oh my god. Um, next, we have North Pole, ba North Pole Magic. Um, this has bright citrus, gold glitter, star flower, jasmine, vanilla musk, sandalwood, and warm amber. Uh, this is really feminine and sweet. And this is one of those candles where the blend is done so well that you really can't detect. You can't pull apart the notes separately. Like your nose isn't able to do that with a blend like this. Um, I do get citrus and jasmine and starflower. Um, the vanilla musk is also there. It's quite lovely. And yet this candle smells nothing like Christmas. It doesn't smell like how the label looks where you would think you would get maybe mint in this candle because of the snow. Um, or because of North Pole, you think, you know, um, you think of, of baked goods and things like that. But this is much more of a spring fragrance, if anything. It's very uh, feminine, flowery, and, um, and sweet. So I like this one, though. I'm probably going to burn it as a transition scent. It's nice. Um, the last one we have is Sunday Drive. 
This is cactus flower, soft raspberry, sparkling lemon, jasmine, sun-kissed coconut, and vanilla. I finally, finally got my hands on a large jar of this. I, like I said in the beginning, I have, I've, I've had a wax melt for over a year and I fell in love with it. And, um, this basically is cactus blossom from Bath and Body Works, yet it's like a bit stronger and it has all of that typical like cactus blossom notes in it. You do, it is very sweet. It is very feminine. Um, but this is one of my favorite fragrances just in general. Like when I smelled Cactus Blossom from Bath and Body Works, I fell in love with it. I have the body splash. I have the candle. It's not everyone's cup of tea and I understand that, but this is, I don't know. It just, it, it's very feminine. It, it's sweet and I like it and I like it. I like smelling it. It, it smells clean too. Um, and it's just what I like in a candle. So I'm very happy. I finally got my hands on this one. But um, yeah, so that is my little mini haul. Uh, I do, uh, I would love to say I don't have another one coming, but I do. Um, so yeah, I think it's like four, four or five candles coming. So it'll be another mini haul. But um, yeah, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and I will speak to you all soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share with those you know who enjoy home fragrance as much as us. And hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload.